क्रिएटिव होम स्कूलिंग Each of the four beads on the lower of a rod has the value of one. Why? The bead on the upper section of a rod has the value of five. Each of the one unit beads below the beam. obtain its value when it is moved up towards the beam and loses its value when it is moved back down to its former position on the other hand each of the five unit beads above the beam obtain its value when it is moved down to the beam and loses its value when it is moved up Before using the abacus, make sure that all the beads are in the neutral position, representing zero. This is done by moving up all five unit beads and moving down all one unit beads. In clearing the abacus for use. Hold the left end with your left middle finger on its upper edge and your left thumb on its lower edge and move all the beads down by slanting the upper edge towards your body After leveling the abacus again raise all five unit beads by moving the right index finger from left to right along the upper edge of the beam when calculating on abacus use two fingers the right index finger and right thumb some operators use only the index finger but experiments show that it is more efficient to use the thumb as well Nearly all experts use two fingers. Use the index finger to move five unit beads up and down. And to move one unit beads down. But use the thumb to move one unit beads up. For instance, to set number 7 on the abacus with only the index finger requires two successive motions. First move down a 5 unit beat and then move up to 1 unit beats. Whereas these motions can be performed simultaneously with two fingers using the butterfly movement. Moreover, in our everyday actions, we commonly employ two or more fingers. Say, picking up something or holding a pen. And the hand is so made that the index finger almost always requires the assistance of the thumb. This accounts for the proven fact that In the long run it is much less tiring to operate the abacus with two fingers than with one. The best quickest way to acquire skill in abacus manipulation is to use the index finger and thumb in strict accord with the prescribed rules for bead manipulation. They should be carefully heeded. and practice many times until you can flick your two fingers as nimbly and effortlessly another important secret for acquiring rapid skill in abacus calculation is always to keep your fingers close to the beads never raise your fingers high from the beads 
nor put them deep between the beads. Glide the beads up and down by touching the ridges just slightly with the tips of your fingers. When working with the abacus, sit up straight at a desk. A good posture will have much to do with the speed and accuracy of your calculations. Now, let's see some examples. Set the value to 1. Set the value to 3. Here, you might be wondering how to set the value to 5. As there are only 4 beads here below the beam. It's very easy. This is why we have the upper beads. First reset the abacus to zero position. Then move this upper bead down. That's five. Very simple, isn't it? Nice. But how about higher values like 6, 7, 8 and 9? Also very simple. Let's set 7. You know how to set 5, right? Correct. Let's move this upper bit down. Now we have 5. And Setting the higher values is quite easy. This is 6. And this is 7. I recommend to use the butterfly movement for such operations. Now, let's set 7 using the butterfly movement. Now, it's your turn. Set the value to 9. You have 10 seconds to solve this challenge. Let's see some real arithmetic operations now. Let's have a look at adding one digit numbers. For example, 1 plus 2 equals to 3. Let's put this into practice by using an abacus. This example demonstrates how to add two or more one unit bits. In step 1, Set the number 1 by moving up one one unit beat with the thumb. See that you set 1 on a unit rod. Next in step 2, add 2 to 1 by moving up on the same rod. Two more one unit beats using the thumb. One plus two equals to three. Now let's see a few more examples. One plus three equals to four.
टू प्लस टू इक्वल्स टू फोर फाइव प्लस टू इक्वल्स टू सेवन सिक्स प्लस टू इक्वल्स टू एट Seven plus one equals to eight. Now it's your turn. Try to solve each problem in ten seconds or less. One plus one. Good job. Let's see that again. Two plus one. Very good. Let's see that again. Five plus three. Wow! Super. Let's see that again. Next, three plus one. Good. Let's see that again. Five plus four. Nice. Let's see that again. Five plus one. Super. Let's see that again. Six plus three. Great. Let's see that again. Next, six plus one. Good 
job. Let's see that again. Seven plus two. Wow, nice. Let's see that again. Eight plus one. Very good. Let's see that again. Please try to repeat the exercises as many times as possible in order to improve your abacus operating speed. I have made a free printable for you to practice on your own. You can find the link in the description box below. And from there, you can download the printable with all exercises and solutions from this class for free. Let's have a look at subtracting one digit numbers. For example, 3 minus 2 equals to 1. Let's put this into practice by using an abacus. This example demonstrates how to subtract two or more one unit bits. In step 1, set the number 3 by moving up 3 1 unit beats with the thumb. See that you set 3 on a unit rod. Next, in step 2, subtract 2 by moving down 2 1 unit beats with the index finger. Now, the answer is 1. Now let's see some more examples. 2 minus 1 equals to 1. Four minus three equals to one. Six minus one equals to five. Seven minus two equals to Five eight minus one equals to 7 
nine minus two equals to seven. Now it's your turn. Try to solve each problem in 10 seconds or less. 3 minus 1 Good job. Let's see that again. Three minus two. Very good. Let's see that again. Four minus one. Wow, super! Let's see that again. Four minus two. Good. Let's see that again. Seven minus one. Very nice. Let's see that again. Eight minus two. Let's see that again. Eight minus three. Great. Let's see that again. Nine minus one. Good job. Let's see that again. Nine 
नाइन माइनस थ्री Wow, nice. Let's see that again. Nine minus four. Very good. Let's see that again. Please try to repeat the exercises as many times as possible in order to improve your abacus operating speed. I have made a free printable for you to practice on your own. You can find the link in the description box below. And from there, you can download the printable with all exercises and solutions from this class for free. We are going to learn how to add and subtract a 5 unit bead. Now it gets more interesting, right? Let's do some additions now. For example, 2 plus 5 equals to 7. Let's put this into practice by using an abacus. This example demonstrates how to add a 5 unit bead. In step 1, set the number 2 by moving up 2 1 unit beads with the thumb. See that you set 2 on a unit rod. Next, in step 2, Move down 5 with the index finger. Now the answer is 7. Let's look at some more examples now. 1 plus 5 equals to 6. Three plus five equals to eight. Now, it's your turn. Try to solve each problem in 10 seconds or less. 2 plus 5 equals to 2. Good job! Let's see that again. Four plus five equals to very 
very good let's see that again Let's do some subtractions now. This example demonstrates how to subtract a 5 unit bit. In step 1, set the number 7 by using the butterfly method. Next, in step 2, Move up 5 with the index finger. Now the answer is 2. Let's look at some more examples now. 5 minus 5 equals to 0. Eight minus five equals to three. Now it's your turn. Try to solve each problem in 10 seconds or less. 6 minus 5 equals to 2. Good job! Let's see that again. Nine minus five equals to very good. Let's see that again. Please try to repeat the exercises as many times as possible in order to improve your abacus operating speed. I have made a free printable for you to practice on your own. You can find the link in the description box below. And from there, you can download the free printable with all exercises and solutions from this class for free. Now. In this class, we are going to learn adding and subtracting both a 5 unit bit and one or more 1 unit bits. Now it gets more interesting, right? Let's do some additions now. For example, 2 plus 6 equals to 8. Let's put this into practice by using an abacus. This example demonstrates how to add both a 5 unit bit and one or more 1 unit bits. In step 1, set the number 2 by moving up 2 1 unit bits with the thumb. 
see that you set two on a unit rod. Next, in step two, move down five with the index finger and move up one with the thumb at the same time. Now the answer is eight. Let's look at some more examples now. One plus six equals to seven. Plus six equals to eight. Three plus six equals to nine. Now it's your turn. Try to solve each problem in 10 seconds or less. 1 plus 7 equals to 2. Good job! Let's see that again. Plus seven equals to very good. Let's see that again. One plus eight equals two. Great. Let's see that again. Let's do some subtractions now. For example, 8 minus 6 equals to 2. Let's put this into practice by using an abacus. This example demonstrates how to subtract both a 5 unit beat and one or more 1 unit beats. In step 1, set the number 8 by using the butterfly method. In step 2, move down 1 with the thumb and move up 5 with the index finger by using the butterfly method. Now, the answer is 2. Let's look at some more examples now. 9 minus 9 equals to 0.
8 minus 7 equals to 1. Nine minus six equals to three. Seven minus six equals to one. Six minus six equals to Zero. Now it's your turn. Try to solve each problem in 10 seconds or less. 9 minus 8 equals to 2. Great job! Let's see that again. Eight minus eight equals to great job. Let's see that again. Nine minus seven equals to. Let's see that again. 7 minus 7 equals to Very nice. Let's see that again. 8 minus 6 equals 2. Super! Let's see that again. 8 Please try to repeat the exercises as many times as possible in order to improve your abacus operating speed. Now, I have made a free printable for you to practice on your own. You can find the link in the description box below. And from there, you can download the free printable with all exercises and solutions from this class for free. We are going to learn how to set 5 when the sum of two numbers equals 5. And also, 
how to subtract a number from 5 let's take a look at the amazing small friend formula this is a very important formula that every abacus user should know you might be wondering why this formula i will tell you you have done a lot of addition and subtraction exercises so far but we have always used some numbers like 1 plus 2 Three minus two, two plus two, and three plus one, and so on. Now let's do some more calculations now. For example, let's add three plus two. Place three lower bits on the units rod. Now we need to add two more bits, but there are insufficient bits in a column to add an abacus. So. This is where the small friend formula helps us. So, let's take a look at it right away. Now let's discuss about the small friend formulas. These are the small friend formulas for additions and these are the small friend formulas for subtractions. Okay? Now, to add one bead, use the formula Plus one equals two. Plus five minus four. To add two bits, we must use the formula plus two equals two. Plus five minus three. If we want to add three bits, we must use the formula plus three equals two. Plus five minus two. If we want to add four more bits. We must use the formula plus four equals two plus five minus one. Similarly, to subtract one bead, use the formula minus one equals two minus five plus four. To subtract two beads, we must use the formula minus two equals two minus five plus three. If we want to subtract three beads. We must use the formula minus three equals two minus five plus two. If we want to subtract four beads, we must use the formula minus four equals two minus five plus one. Let's do some additions now. For example, four plus one equals to five. Let's put this into practice by using an abacus. This example demonstrates how to set five when the sum of two numbers equals five. In step one, set the number four by moving up four one unit beats with the thumb. Next. In step two, move down five first, and four next in close session with the index finger. Now the answer is five. Let's look at one more example now. Three plus two equals to five. Now it's your turn. Try to solve each problem in ten seconds or less. Two plus three equals two. Five. 
five. Good job. Let's see that again. One plus four equals to five. Very good. Let's see that again. Let's do some subtractions now. For example, 5 minus 1 equals to 4. Let's put this into practice by using an abacus. This example demonstrates how to subtract a number from 5. In step 1, set the number 5 by using the index finger. Next, in step 2, first move up 5 with the index finger and then move up 4 with the thumb in closed session. Flip the thumb and the index finger with the idea of performing the two motions at the same time. Now, the answer is 4. Let's look at some more examples now. 5 minus 2 equals to 3. Six minus three equals to three. Seven minus four equals to three. Eight minus four equals to four. Thank you.
Now it's your turn. Try to solve each problem in 10 seconds or less. 6 minus 2 equals to 2. Good job! Let's see that again. Minus 3 equals to 2. Very good. Let's see that again. Minus 4 equals to 2. Great! Let's see that again. Minus 4 equals to 2. Very nice. Let's see that again. Minus 3 equals to 2. Wow! Super! Let's see that again. Please try to repeat the exercises as many times as possible in order to improve your abacus operating speed. Now, I have made a free printable for you to practice on your work. You can find the link in the description box below. And from there, 
you can download the free printable with all exercises and solutions from this class for free we are going to learn how to add a five unit bit and subtract one or more one unit bits and how to add one or more one unit bits and subtract one five unit bit now it gets more interesting right let's do some additions now for example 4 plus 3 equals to 7 let's put this into practice by using an abacus this example demonstrates how to add a five unit bit and subtract one or more one unit bits in step 1 set the number 4 by moving up four one unit bits with the thumb next in step 2 Move down five first, and then two in close session with the index finger. Now the answer is seven. Let's look at some more examples now. Four plus two equals to six. Three plus three equals to six. Equals to seven. Now it's your turn. Try to solve each problem in ten seconds or less. Four plus four equals two.
फोर इक्वल्स टू गुड जॉब लेट्स सी दैट अगेन Equals to Good job. Let's see that again. Plus one equals two. Good. Let's say that again. Plus two equals two. Very nice. Let's see that again. Equals to very nice. Let's see that again.
Let's do some subtractions now. For example, 7 minus 3 equals to 4. Let's put this into practice by using an abacus. This example demonstrates how to add one or more one unit beads and subtract one five unit bead. In step 1, set 7. Next, in step 2, in close session, first move up the 5 with the index finger and then move up 2 with the thumb. Now, the answer is 4. Let's look at some more examples now. 5 minus 1 equals to 4. Minus 2 equals to 4. Minus 4 equals to 4. Now, it's your turn. Try to solve each problem in 10 seconds or less. Six minus three equals to Very good. Let's see that again.
माइनस टू इक्वल्स टू वाओ सुपर लेट्स सी दैट अगेन माइनस थ्री इक्वल्स टू गुड जॉब लेट्स से दैट अगेन फाइव माइनस फोर इक्वल्स टू गुड जॉब लेट्स से दैट अगेन माइनस फोर इक्वल्स टू वेरी नाइस लेट्स सी दैट अगेन Seven minus four equals two. Very good. Let's see that again. Please try to repeat the exercises as many times as possible in order to improve your abacus operating speed. I have made a free printable for you to practice on your own. You can find the link in the description box below. And from there, you can download the free printable with all exercises and solutions from this class for free. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please do like and subscribe. See you in the next video.